Hey everybody, it's Mac My P, and today's the 5th of July. I hope you all had yourselves a wonderful 4th of July. Lots of fireworks show going on from our house. We were actually able to see eight different shows, so that was pretty cool. In any event, a package arrived today that I've been waiting for for oh, quite a few days, actually. But uh, I know someone will recognize this. This is from Miss Jennifer O'Neill in Canada. We're doing a trade. Um, we did one a couple, well... It's been over a year now that we've done one, um, but we always have a lot of fun doing it. And so, she sent hers first, and I'm super, super excited to see what she's got in here for me. Um, so, this is the unboxing of my box from Canada. I went out and met the mailman, and it's just been super hot. And I know things have been melting, I've seen on this channel. So, alright, oof. Wonderful smells. I think I caught apple cinnamon first and foremost, but uh, there's a card from my friend Dan. So it's long. I'm just going to um, keep that personal between me and Jennifer, but I'll show you the goody goodies that I got from her. So, ooh, some cologne. Oh, yeah. I was just looking for cologne. This is Perry Ellis. Oh. And it smells amazing. I just bought two small aisle bottles of Azaro Chrome yesterday. And I was actually looking at the very else because it was right next to it. So that's just, I don't know if you call it fade or what, but that's awesome. Mm. I really like it. It's really, uh, it's really musky scent. Uh, picking up spice as well. So I've got a spicy, musky cologne, and it's a huge bottle, five fluid ounces. That's like I bought an Issy Miyake bottle uh, that was huge, and it was really expensive. So, Hello, thank you, Jennifer. <clears throat> All right, next I got some cherry Coca Cola, Bonnie Bell, lippies. I love lippies. Lippies are so, so handy. I use them all the time. All right, so everything's packaged very nicely, as Jennifer always does. Ooh! So this is like a... Oops, we got some nuts. Some wax nuts. This is a... Uh, it's like a... Uh, pecan caramel bread candle. I'm gonna say pecan and caramel. Yeah, pecan caramel. That is really cool. I love the packaging on it. At first I thought it was an actual bread, but no, it's a candle. Very cool. I love Jennifer's candles and love them when I'm around the house. They're always amazing fragrances and they linger in the air. Oh, for me, the entire life. This is awesome. I love, love, love her candles. So let's see, what next can I grab here? Ooh. Primal Treasures Cherry Pie. It has this really cool top on it. I love these jars, but that is just some of Jennifer's amazing work. You guys, oh my god, super strong cherry, it's just my favorite, I love cherry, anything cherry, so, and it's uh, one of these awesome jars, that you have to down. so you can like save this jar and reuse it, which is really cool too, awesome, cherry, alright, <laughs> some cuticle remover, which I've actually been looking at the SE cuticle stuff, um, so this is perfect. Eliminate thick, overgrown cuticles. Um, that's exactly what I need. I don't know if I've been talking about it on here or not, but I was looking at the SE cuticle stuff. So this contains two manicure sticks and the actual cream itself. So I'm excited to try this because I'm going to the retreat next weekend. And I was going to do Manny Petty before I went, but now I can maybe do it myself. Save a little bit more money for the retreat. <clears throat> All right, and there's a little sample goodie bag it looks like here. Ooh, La Roche. This is their face lotion. These are three milliliters. Three milliliters. Uh, La Roche is really, really good stuff. High-end stuff. Kind of um, like Shiseido. Um, ooh, I'm super excited to try these. <clears throat> Some face uh, anti-age creams. There's a Reversa one. And a Lightning cream, which is awesome. Venom doo -wop. I think it's a lippy. Yeah. Venom doo -wop. 
which is a really nice kind of sparkly light sheer pink. Cool. And then all kinds of samples and rough samples. So I've got some Vichy, which is great, great stuff. More Vichy. Um, a couple of Vichy. Wow, these are all Vichy. Awesome! Vichy is a very um, high end line as well. So I'm super excited for all these things. These are for me. <clears throat> I've been needing some eye stuff. I use Shiseido usually, uh, but I ran out. About a week and a half ago, and there's 60 bucks a jar, so there's no way to go. Alright, now these are Beloya, um, these are face masks. I've actually seen these before. I think I did a bottom for people, um, and given them to them in some of the gift baskets that I've done. These are, um, actual liquids that you just put on your entire face, wait 15 minutes for it to dry, and then you rinse it down. So, uh, there's three different ones. Yeah, yeah, I'm super excited to try these because, like I said, I bought them for people, but I never actually tried them for myself. So, some face masks. I might have a little spa day here. Alright, who Art Deco and Cargo Blue Ray High Definition Mascara. Wow, it's a super thick case. Ooh, it's got a, ooh, it's got a really unique brush, and that's what always makes. The difference with each of the mascaras is their brushes. Very cool. Wow. That makes such a huge difference. And it's just a little bit that I applied and it actually went in the direction that I wanted it to. Super awesome mascara. I'm so excited to use this. Michelle is going to be so jealous. She's going to come over. I think she's coming over today. And then there's Art Deco Curl and Style, which I have not tried one of the Curl and Style ones yet. So, ooh, love the packaging. Love it, love it. It reminds me of that um, other one that I got. And this one is by Art Deco. And it's in color 01, which is just going to be basic. Wow, look at that wand. It's just got a nice curled wand. Got one on the other eye. <laughs> so, there's the two mascaras. This side being the Art Deco. Which you can just really keep layering it up and just get. Oh my god, amazing with thick long lashes, so. Yay, and I don't have a lot of mascaras. I've not, I've always stuck with Voluminous from L'Oreal. Um, so this is actually, this will make the third um, brand besides L'Oreal that I'm going to try. Oh, somebody had sent me. Ooh, another candle. Oh, I love her candles. I can't wait to just burn a bunch of these. Ooh, 100%. That's the pumpkin. This is just like the, um, the canned pumpkin that you get for... For the holidays. You got me so right. Yum. How can I ever deny? Awesome. So good today. So how you feel the So it looks good. It looks like it's been melted. They probably in air conditioned houses, warehouses the whole way. So I'm thrilled. So I was a little concerned, I know. And then um I've been seeing some posts and stuff. So this is a smudge paint, and it looks like, I'm not sure what that is with it. It's got a built-in brush. Oh, I know what these are. This thing's are pretty awesome. And then, a Tropic Thunder, I think this is like a baked eyeshadow. Super, super blue. She knows me very, very well. I'm gonna try and keep this under the tongue. I'm already at nine minutes and I barely put it into this. Ooh, awesome. This is gonna be great for. Yeah. I've been needing a new one. I have a Maybelline one, I believe it is, but it's beginning to dry out. Awesome, I can't wait to try this. And this one's in tar. 
so I want this box in right now. It's her time's sake because she did stuff this box chock chock full. Oh, I'm so excited. Who's got an apple? This was the one I was smelling in the beginning. So one of Jennifer's wonderful candles. She's amazing. Oh, yay. I can't wait to get your box together now. This is a fur color whispers. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is very reminiscent of, I'd say, the Raspberry Whip. It just goes on a super light sheer pink. Uh, light lavender, and you can certainly layer it up. It's not super opaque, which is awesome. Lippies are the best. Awesome. And I do like the packaging. It's the pink and silver, very nice. It reminds me of Drew Barrymore's line that I've been wanting to try. I think it's called Flower. Oh, all kinds of goodies. Moon Venom from doo Lip Slumber and Gloss. This is another lip gloss. Look at that color. Super, super light pink. Which is awesome, especially if you're going to summer. Let's see if it has a color name right here. It's called Pink Sand. Ooh, a very cool blinged out emery board. It is going to be manicure for the pure day, I think. Right, lashes, which I always love playing with fun lashes. These are very cool. They're, um, full full lashes. There's a blue and a purple. Super cool. I can't wait to use those. Candle here. Okay, it's going to be so excited to open or made decadent cocoa. Looks like it might have broken shit, but that's all right. Yeah, there's a little chip there. <clears throat> but, smells amazing. I can't wait to have a bunch of candles going again. It's been so long. I usually just have tea lights in my little round ones around the house. Alright, here's some, you know. Active Naturals, Positively Radiant Moisturizing Lotion. We're always, always looking for good lotion around here. And both me and Elliot, we keep one on our nightstand, so to try and help with the cuticles, but I'm terrible about it. So that's why we keep them on our nightstand. But Elliot keeps stealing mine, so now I have one for my nightstand. <coughs> Texas Lash Mascara from Cargo. She found like this, like a co-op in her town, kind of, just from the value. She was telling me she got the price tags on so I could see. She was getting some steals. Look at that big, super full brush. I'm imagining Texas pageant queen kind of lashes to go along with this. I've already got mascara on two eyes right now, so um, I'm not going to do a third one. Lashem uh, Measurable Drippin' Slash Gel. So this is a growth gel, which I've been wanting to try, and I haven't tried any of these yet either. So um, I personally am going to try this myself because you know I don't have the most strong lashes or eyebrows for that matter. So I'm going to try that myself. Let's put it in here. This is Maybelline Le Big Show Mascara. Ooh, and a wild blue liner that's awesome. Super glittery. This is an extra volume lash. So, I'm going to have every lash that I need now, every um, mascara that I need now for lashes. It's awesome. I'm at 14 minutes already. Ooh, a bondel. This is a blushing glow. So it's like a highlighter and um, a blush all in one, a duo, and I'm I'm really into these right now. A lot of companies are releasing them. As a matter of fact, Mac just came out with one for um, I think it's called Barbados for Rihanna. I've got those ones from Rock and Republic, and uh, I want to say another one from Mac. So awesome! I'm super excited to, to try this. So if the chef comes over today, we might do a 
a test of all this stuff in the tutorial on her. She'll be my, my new canvas today. So this is a wet and all, a wet and wild coverall. This is totally my shade, I can tell you that. 818 light medium, so that's perfect, perfect shade for me. Okay. Now I want to open it yet. Foundations are always a good thing. Always, always a good thing. There's so much stuff in here. Ooh. Ooh, a perfecting base face primer. I'm so stoked to try this. I've been using two different types of uh, primers. I've been using the e.l.f., which is a good primer. It's just, it just has a weird greasy feeling to me when it goes on, but then it kind of mellows out. And then I've been using Max BB Cream as my primer, so um, I'm excited to try something else. And this is, I know these are pretty pricey at the stores here. So, and this is Perfecting Base. Awesome, awesome. Oh, wow. This is something totally cool. This is a Quo face palette. Look at this super hard, really nice palette. Oh. Look at those colors. Those are phenomenal. It's like naked basics is what I think of. Oh my god. Those are amazing colors. Very, very neutral nudes, light pinks. Um, it doesn't say the colors that are on there. It's called the Force of Nature palette. Whoa. So, this is awesome. I've never tried Quo. I haven't even actually... I don't know that I've seen it, but I spent so much time in Mac and not gone into Sephora in a while. And I don't think Ulta carries it, that I've seen. So, excited to try some new products. Yay! She said these were on the Canadian brands as well, so. Ooh, brown sugar and fig body lotions with some more lotion. Oh, that smells really good. I've been bursting up a lot the past few days. And getting ready to go to the retreat up in Grand Lake, Colorado, that I do twice a year. And that's um, right up over Bertha Pass, which is like really, really high. It's the highest in Colorado, I believe. And, anyways, be in the mountains, and so. And uh, look at that. Michelle's gonna be so jealous. Two of my snake skin covered. These are cool too. This is the second skin face palette. The Visage. Whoa. Oh my god. That is amazing. So these are like um, beauty powders. Beauty powders and highlighters. And look at these. Compacts at the end, and palettes at the end. Holy crap. Ooh, I love it. There's like a purple, a carbon. Oh my god. A brown, um, a light oranges nude. Then a really, really sparkled out. Really like an amazing highlighter color, a beige. And then a light lime green, key lime green. It came with a couple brushes and applicators, and then also another highlighting type powder, highlighting blush. These are awesome, Jennifer. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I'm so excited! There's so much more stuff. I don't know what else the video is going to even make this. Might have to be a two-parter. Body Clear Body Spray from Neutrogena. Fights Body Breakouts, that's awesome. Sprays upside down. That's awesome. I can use this up on my bag. Especially when I go up to Grand Lake. Something else from my little bag. Face wipes are always, always, always a great item to get any person that loves makeup. So I love those. I can't believe all this stuff that's in there. There's just killer, killer palettes. I can't wait to. Ooh, Givenchy. Givenchy! This is a precious shimmer powder. Oh, Givenchy. Really good stuff, too. Look at that. 
Oh. And it's a nine color eyeshadow palette. They're all like shimmers, ultra shimmers. And it covers white down to a dark rose red with some nudes, golds in there as well. So, and it's from Givenchy. Very nice. Ooh, my kit's a lot more diversified now. It's, it's been lacking diversity lately. It's been filled with Mac mostly. Ooh, an Elizabeth Arden spa set. I am totally having a spa day. Uh, this is a gel cleanser, a daily moisture drink, and a clear solution, a tonic. Toner. From Elizabeth Arden. I'm totally having a spa day. Once I get work done. I have to get a bunch of stuff done today for work done. Ooh. Oh, some nail stuff, yay! A black, which is totally a color, and this is by OPI. This is Nicole. Oh, it's a crackle? It's a texture coat. I'm really excited to try that. I do like to put these on, especially for myself, so I'm really excited to try it. It looks like they're all texture coats. So they're kind of like a crackle, I think. Um, a silver, which I totally will wear as well, and this has been my favorite color lately. Uh, so I have it right here. So, just this one's from LA Colors, so it's not the greatest brand, but this is, um, these are from OPI, so these are going to be awesome. OPI is totally my favorite nail stuff. My goodness, Jennifer. I'm at 21 minutes. I still have a bunch of stuff to go. These are awesome. These are Gosh from iDuos. This is a cream blusher, which is in a really nice nude. Uh, it's called Peachy Rush. So it's a nice peach color, which would actually be good for a male skin or light toned. This is a duo eyeshadow and it's called Purple Sky. So it's got two shades of purple. And then this one is called Blue Moon, which blues are my thing. And that's a duo there as well. These are awesome. I really like this packaging. Very cool. Alright, something big here. This looks it's a Lux Beauty Portfolio from Coral. Oh my god. It has a drawer that pulls out. Wow. It's got eyeshadows, cheek colors, cream eyeliners, and lip colors. That's awesome. It's kind of, it reminds me of the Urban Decay palette. I thought it was like an Urban Decay when I seen the butterflies on it, so super excited for this. So this is the Deluxe Beauty Portfolio from Quill. I think I've seen that right. Oh my gosh, and I have so much tissue paper I always need, so... Oh, some glass coverage in there. Other pieces of paper. Yeah. Heart candy, yay! I've really been wanting to try their 10 top 10 shadows. So there's the purples and the nudes and golds. Michelle's gonna be so jealous. I really like the uh, packaging on, on these. I really do like Heart candy. It's a great brand. They were, like I said, originally owned by Urban Decay. Now they're owned by Louis Vuitton and Moet Chandon Corporation. Questions! <gasps> oh my god! Real techniques, oh look at that. I always, always, always am looking out for brushes too, so I'm super excited. Excited. The dual fibers, I can tell you that right off the bat. Um, that looks like an amazing a contouring brush. I totally need a contouring brush. There's a detailer brush, a pointed foundation brush, a buffing brush, and a contour brush. And then a case and a like holder for that. Yay. Okay. Three, four more things to go. Jennifer, you pack this box. Another item from Quo. This is their little lip gloss collection, which has ten of them in there. So again, lippies. I love lippies. There's some amazing colors in here too. 
we do some nice layering effects with these. And it kind of matches the uh, palettes in the packaging, so this might be from the same collection from Quirrell, because there's been some other items from Quirrell, so I'm assuming that's a collection. Yeah, it is. It says collection. Ooh, a melon melon. Awesome. No overkins. <laughs> Yay, that is something we will totally use on blushing, I'm sure. Awesome though. Very cool. Okay. A couple more items. Ooh, some odds. Ooh, a very cool Annabelle. This is a custom quad refillable compounds. And then, oh, there's pods, four pods. So she, she put together, ooh, there's that one that I love. I have this in the Urban Decay one. It's like a red, a brownish red. It tends to go on really dark with Urban Decay and Mac, so I'll be interested to try that one. And then there's a really nice lavender, a black, which is always awesome, and a white. Two really awesome colors. I would, probably, I would put a black and a white in every time I think I put Really primary colors for me. So, I have my own quad from Annabelle, which has it's a really nice heavy compact. I love heavy compacts. And I can probably put cans from all the other companies in and on this side. Okay, one more item. Let's put a little bit of glass down there. My table's like overflowing. Yeah, Mojo just ran out from another table because of the tissue paper. And a pro compact. This is Miami Rush bronzer. I love bronzers. Oh. It's a four color one. That is so amazing. Um, thank you so much, Jen. I'm at 27 minutes. It took me 30 minutes to unbox all this stuff. And I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Thank you. Um, so that's it. That's unboxing from Miss Jennifer O'Neill. Um, check out her website. Get some of her candles. I'll throw the link down below. Um, and that's it. Thanks, guys. I will get a box out to Jennifer as soon as possible. And then we'll have her do her unboxing video as well. Take care, guys. Bye.